Hey all, let's talk about the tape measure tool. It does what it sounds like it does. It measures things. It is located below the move tool set that we went over in the previous tutorial. Tutorial, And if you wanted to, for instance, you forgot the measurements of this thing and you really need to do that so you can recreate it, you can go to any one of these endpoints or edges, click your beginning point, move across and you don't have to click again i'm not even touching it it's telling me both what the measurement of that is in a window at the desired location ending point and down here in the length window the measurements window 11 feet let's say you wanted to now measure the height going down you don't have to click again you've already established your um, pivot point in the corner just move the thing down the length of this and you can start measuring any number of directions from that point nine feet okay nine feet by 11 feet okay great what about the hypotenuse the diagonal 14 feet two and nine sixteenths inches great so assuming you wanted to leave a trail of that along the length of this wall a line that can help you line up another window in the future okay so you can do that with a tape measure tool like this click your starting point run across the top of your window out to the end of the wall click again and you've created a virtual dotted line that can help you with the alignment of things in your environment you could even use this for like um a field if you're doing a ball field or something go over like a bird look down on the field and just see where you're going to place things and you can start marking them with the tape measure tool before you draw them with the line tool Click again across the bottom. Make sure you're lined up with it, not like this, but we'll let it lock you into color. And here are two lines between which you can create another window right over here, and it will be perfectly lined up with that one. Or if you look at a future copy and paste tutorial and you copied and pasted that window over here and it's not helping you line it up like it did a second ago with that green line, you can at least use these measurement lines to, to get what you want out of it. Now. You can also use the tape measure tool to make these little hash marks along the length of a line for future like oh i'm going to put some little columns in there or some poles or like i'm going to do a railing some stairs and i want to mark where i'm going to put the banisters those things those little bars that go down and let um, it's like a protective barrier as you're going up the stairs well you can do that with the tape measure tool too but it won't do it on the face because it just puts this dotted line on the face if you do it on an edge you'll get these little hash marks, like little plus symbols, marked where you want to leave it. This is how you do it. Let's say you want these every, like these should be spaced out every one foot. I think I did that before. What you do is you left click, pull it across like you're, like you're measuring a line along there. And so far I'm at one foot and one and seven eighths. Boom, that's every one foot. So, if I wanted another one over here, I could type in uh, three feet because I've already got two of them. Enter. Ooh. No, cancel that. Let's try it again. Starting point. My computer's glitching. Move over. Stay on the line because that's where it's going to mark it. Type in three feet. Enter. And now it just put another one right there. Now you can either keep coming back here, clicking and pulling it out and going another foot, typing in four apostrophe. Enter. Or what would be faster, right? Just start at your last stopping point, right there. Move over, let go, type in one foot. And now you've measured all of these, one, two, three, on the one foot mark. You can keep going across, one foot. You don't have to line up one foot. You can just, once you start going that direction, you can just tell it you want it at one foot and it'll do that. So every one foot from each other. And then you have these little hash marks that can help you start putting your poles right there and lifting them up and stuff, push pulling them up. And these are great ways to keep track of the spacing of things in your environment with the tape measure tool. Cool. And I'll show you more about some of the other tools in that tool set for the next tutorials. I hope you guys are doing well.